Hello, this week we're looking at different personalities. On Monday, we are going to say why we like the personalities of certain fictional characters. We're going to find out more about what different personality traits exist, positive and negative, and we'll be finding alternative words for some of those personality types. On Tuesday, we will use what we've learned to write a story about three different personalities on a journey. Which character do you prefer? It doesn't have to be from the list. Why do you prefer that character? And what does your favourite character do that's special? Here are some positive personality traits. Honesty, adaptability, drive and determination, compassion, patience, courage and loyalty. All of these will help you get along with other people. Here is a list of positive personality traits. If you don't know what any of them mean, look them up. Obviously, there are things which are not positive. They are negative personality traits, such as lying, being selfish, being lazy, making excuses, inability to understand other people's feelings by empathy, being quick to anger and being disloyal to people you work or study with. Here is a list of negative personality traits. Again, if you don't recognise any of them, look them up. Time to use your paper or online thesaurus. Choose three words from each of the positive and negative personality trait lists um, and find alternative words that mean the same thing, three if you can. Time to write. Pick three characters that are going to travel together to a remote place such as across the desert, to the moon or to the bottom of the sea. Who are they? What roles will each one take on the journey? What personalities will they show and how and what will happen and what will be the result of the journey? Plan a story using the story planning sheet to decide the events in each paragraph and the techniques, te techniques that you'll use if you want to. Use five techniques from the list below. It's really important to vary your sentences so your writing isn't boring. Use a complex sentence, a minor or short sentence, a semicolon, which joins two sentences that are related in meaning and can replace a joining word, and start four sentences with different things, a verb, an adverb, a noun and an adjective. Don't forget your story will be much more interesting if you don't start it at the beginning. Once you've done your writing, can you help me out by highlighting or underlining the techniques that you've used from the list just to show me what you've done? Um, and please try and get your story into me 15 minutes before the end of the lesson. Directly paste it into an email, please. No attachments. Thanks a lot. I'll get back to you and see you next week.